In this video, we're going to go over some examples of adding capacitors in series. And for each of these examples, I'd suggest that you give them a try yourself first, and then come back to the video and see if you got the right answer. So we're going to start out with some symbolic examples. And in this first example, we want to know what the equivalent capacitance is of two capacitors in series that have the same capacitance C. And this is actually a very common example. You'll see it all the time in electrical engineering and physics. So we know that in general, for series capacitors, one over the equivalent capacitance is equal to one over C1 plus one over C2. And if there's C3, it'd be one over C3, one over C4, and so on. Now, in this case, C1 and C2 are both the same. They're just C. And so this is one over C, plus 1 over C, which is just 2 over C. So this is 1 over the equivalent capacitance. Now this means that the equivalent capacitance, we just need to invert this, is C over 2. And this is, this is really nice because it lets you know that for any capacitance C, so I could have said, you know, this was 1 microfarad, and this was one microfarad, you immediately know that you've, you've solved this problem already. This is half of that, which is 0.5 microfarad. Or if this was, you know, 10 picofarads and 10 picofarads, this would be five picofarads. So for any capacitance C, if you have two capacitors in series that have the same capacitance, the equivalent capacitance has half of that capacitance. Now let's do another example. What if instead of two capacitors in series, we have three capacitors in series? And let's say that they still all have the same capacitance C. So we have C, C, and C. And we want to figure out the equivalent capacitance. Well, we can use the exact same formula that we used before, that 1 over the equivalent capacitance is just 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2 plus 1 over C3. This formula works for any number of capacitors in series. Now, because we have three in series, uh, this is, and they all have the same capacitance, it's 1 over C plus 1 over C plus 1 over C, or 3 over C. Now, notice that if I were to tell you we had four capacitors or five capacitors, this number on the top would just be increasing. So we'd have an extra one over C, an extra one over C, or our equivalent capacitance is C over three. But if I instead had N capacitors, so if I had N capacitors in series, and they all have the same capacitance, then I can say that my equivalent capacitance is just C over n. And that's because if I added a fourth one, there would be another term here. And so this would be four, and this would be four. Same for five capacitors, six capacitors, and so on. And this actually turns out to be surprisingly useful because this type of configuration with a bunch of capacitors all in series actually does show up uh, more frequently than you might imagine. So those were some symbolic examples. Let's do a couple of numerical examples. So what if I have two capacitors in series, and one of them has a value of one farad, the second one has a value of one farad, and I want to figure out what the equivalent capacitance value is. Well, we could use the formula that we figured out earlier and recognize, oh, there's two capacitors, so the result is going to be half. Or we could use our, uh, if we don't remember that, and that's, that's reasonable, we can just use our general formula. So 1 over the equivalent capacitance is 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2. Now, in this case, C1, so let's call this capacitor C1 and this capacitor C2, but it doesn't make a difference. You could have, you could have flipped them. So we have 1 over 1 farad plus 1 over 1 farad. And this ends up being, because they have the same denominator, this is just 2 over one farad. And so the equivalent capacitance is just one half of a farad. And that is exactly consistent with what we got in our general formula before. It's because there's two capacitors, the result is half. But let's say that we have two capacitors that don't have the same value. So let's say we've got a one farad capacitor 
and a 2 farad capacitor. How would we do that if we want to figure out the equivalent capacitance? Well, we, we can still use our trusty formula. Uh, 1 over the equivalent capacitance is 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2. And I'm hoping that this is getting drilled into your brain by now. Uh, so C1, let's, I'm going to call this C1 and this C2, but you could have, actually, let's, let's do the opposite. So you, you're comfortable with both. Let's call this C1 and this C2. So 1 over 2 farads plus 1 over 1 farad. So we can do this on a computer, or because this is relatively simple, we can do it in our heads. So if we multiply this by 2 over 2, then we'll end up with 3 over 2 farads. This is 1 over the equivalent capacitance, which means that the equivalent capacitance is 2 thirds of a farad. Now, notice that one interesting thing about this is that it's less than either one of the capacitors individually. And this is actually always true. You can prove it for capacitors that are in series. Your equivalent capacitance is always going to be less than any one of the individual capacitances. But it's, it's kind of a useful thing to know. So this is two-thirds of a farad. Finally, let's do one more example with three capacitors in series. So one, two, and three. Let's say this top one has a value of one microfarad, two microfarads, and three microfarads. So capacitors can have a huge range of values. They, they go all the way from femtofarads if you're in an integrated circuit to individual farads if you're in something like a, a defibrillator. You can even have kilofarads if you're at the, the Z machine or something in uh, the fusion reactor. But a, a microfarad for, for benchtop stuff is, is pretty typical. So how do we convert this into a single equivalent capacitance? Well, by this, by this time, I, I hope you can sing it by heart. 1 over our equivalent capacitance is 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2. And now we've got a third capacitor, so we've also got to add 1 over C3. And remember that this works for any number of capacitors. So if we had a fourth one, we could add it here and here and here and so on. And so we've got 1 over 1 microfarad plus 1 over 2 microfarads plus 1 over 3 microfarads. And I, you could do this in your head. You can do it on a computer. I'm not opposed to either approach. In this case, uh, because these are relatively simple, let's multiply this by 2 over 2 and this by 3 over 3. So we get our common denominator of 6, this by 6 over 6. So we've got 6 plus 3 plus 2 all divided by 6 microfarads. So 6 plus 3 is 9. This is al so 11 over 6 microfarads. And now if we flip this to get the equivalent capacitance, we get that this is equal to 6 over 11 microfarads. So this is our final answer. So this capacitor has a value of 6 over 11 microfarads. Now, if you wanted to, when doing this calculation, you could recognize that since all the capacitors have the same units, you could just pull the microfarads out in front or behind and then deal directly with fractions. And that's a perfectly legitimate way to do this as well. Finally, I'd like to thank all my patrons on Patreon. Your support is greatly appreciated and it is you who makes these videos possible. If you aren't currently a patron, to get early video access, behind-the-scenes footage, exclusive content, and join a like-minded community, click the link on screen or in the description below. Thanks for watching.